What we were expecting this morning was a statement to the market about Woolworths profit results. What we weren't expecting was a resignation or retirement announcement from Brad Banducci. He has been the CEO for eight and a half years. Come September, he will no longer be. Let's get some reaction now from the Shadow Finance Minister, Jane Hume. Jane, thanks so much. Of course, there's a, a little bit of recent history to all of this. What's your reaction? Well, obviously, this is a decision for Mr Banducci himself. It's also a decision for the board of Woolworths who there are representing the shareholders. But I think what's most important is the prominence that not just Woolworths, but also Coles have um, experienced in the, in the media lately, and particularly as part of this cost of living crisis and what their role is. We've had both Coles and Woolworths and indeed Aldi and IGA come and speak to the cost of living committee over the last 18 months and give evidence as to what it is that they've seen in terms of consumer behaviour, but also what it, their responses mm. have been, whether it be donating to uh, food charities or, or discounting products and committing to discount for longer. And it's been a, a, a mixed bag. Each one of those supermarket giants has responded in a different way. Certainly, uh, Woolworths has had some questions to answer quite recently and I note that there's a report out just today by mm. Choice magazine uh, that suggests that uh, that perhaps the way that the supermarkets have been expressing their discounts is a little bit misleading and something that potentially could be addressed. My great frustration, of course, is yeah. that there are currently two reviews going on, one by the ACCC and uh, one by Craig Emerson into the grocery, uh, Food and Grocery Code of Conduct. Mm. This is a government that in the middle of a cost of living crisis seems to be lots of reviewing and not actually much doing when we know that grocery prices have gone up around 9% in the last 18 months alone. Yeah, and look, this is all part of the inflation story, right? Everything has gone up. The cost of living has gone up. Everyone at home uh, watching knows that. But I think the difference here is when you have a, a supermarket um, sector dominated by two big players, how... I mean, you just need to look at the incentive package for CEOs and the big profits that have been reported today... How do supermarkets like Woolworths so both their shareholders and their consumers fairly? Well, this is essentially a job for the ACCC and not something that we would stand in the way of. The problem, of course, is that the government can uh, you know, charge the ACCC with, with this task of assessing competition in the supermarket sector. They can charge Craig Emerson with the job of looking at the code of conduct and the relationship between uh, the primary producers and the supermarkets. But if they're genuine about reducing the cost of living and reducing the cost of grocery prices, why would the government then create a, new, a whole new tax on truckies and then another one on farmers that they introduced in the last budget, which of course are going to get passed on in the form of grocery prices. So let's not okay. look at what the government is saying, let's look at what the government is actually doing to reduce the cost of groceries.